At 17, I became the proud owner of a 1970 VW Beetle. Metallic blue, shiny chrome bumpers, it was the car of my dreams. But it wasn't too long before that sweet little car's imperfection started to grate on that dream. And I began to long for a car that started on winter mornings. A car whose petrol gauge actually worked. A car whose gear stick didn't come off in my hand whilst changing into third. A year later, I traded in the Beetle for a more modern Citroen AX, which, what it lacked in character, it certainly made up for in reliability. Now, unlike myself, many classic and vintage car enthusiasts keep these vehicles as a hobby, a collector's item to show off at events like this Golden Age Vehicles show in Cheshire. More often than not, it's an additional car to their more practical day-to-day -day runaround. But if asked to make the choice between old and new, where would their loyalties lie? If given the choice, what would you choose, classic or modern car? Classic. And why is that? What's the biggest joy of owning a classic? Uh, well, they're, they're a future classic, the old ones now. Um, there's not many of them about. They're economical, uh, they're fun, uh, they like, attract a lot of attention. Um, I just love it to bits. Is it more the aesthetics, or would you say it was the actual driving of the car? A combination uh, of both? A combination, really. I mean, I spend a lot of time just cleaning it, and yeah. that's I get a lot of pleasure out of. Uh, but I do enjoy taking it out on the open roads any time, you know. Now, when I was told there was going to be some Cadillacs at this show, I was expecting the stereotypical 1950s big fins, but instead I found Derek with his 1909 classic Cadillac. Look at this car, it's absolutely amazing. Seat? Thank you. Now, what was it that attracted you to this car the most? The brass. The brass. brass yeah. And Love. you polish it regularly? Yes, I do, every week. Yes. Now, this car obviously isn't your day-to-day -day runaround. I no, can't imagine you going down the shops on, in this on a Saturday afternoon. On occasion. Oh, you do? Yes, yes. So you have, a, you have another car besides uh -huh, this? I do. Now, if asked to make the choice between this car and your more modern runaround, which would you choose? This car. You'd choose this car? All the time even though you might not be able to take it out in the winter. Yep. No. You might have to get the bus or the train or whatever. Yes, still prefer this one. So you definitely make yeah. a lot of sacrifices in order to keep yeah. this car. Every sacrifice. And I, I bet know. you love taking it out on a Sunday, don't yeah. you? Oh, I do, yes, I do really do. It's uh, look forward to it all the week. So how fast does this car go, Derek? Mm, probably 30 miles an hour on so a good day. A cruiser? A cruiser, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So you can be seen around the place. That's it, why not? Yeah. Now it's all very well buying a classic car that's in mint condition, but what about the people that are willing to sacrifice time and money to restore them from the shell that they once were? And I'm with Raymond, and I believe this is uh, a Singer, Singer Roadster. Yes. That's right. And what year was it made? It's 1950. OK, yeah. and what sort of condition was this car in when you came about it? Well, it had been in store in a garage for about 12 years. Yeah. And there was no running boards on it, no bumpers on it. It was just a complete wreck. Was it easy to come across all the various well, parts? Well, it was very hard at times finding parts. And, was it? Uh, yes, and uh, a lot of parts we had to make. Did you? In the garage, yeah. An example of? Well, the running boards, the yeah. bumpers, different things like that. Some parts of the engine we had to put uh, Austin parts in the Singer right. to uh, restore it. And it's got the drop down windscreen. Ooh, why would you for need If a you drop want down? to get uh, the wind in your air. There uh, you go. Yeah. So All this dash was made out of the, out of the wood. And yeah, I love this. Yeah, it's a really nice dash, feature. Yeah. What do you think it is um, with classic car enthusiasts that attracts them to? events like this most of all do you think it's the social aspect or the swapping ownership tips and where to get parts well, I, i've got to say i think part of the fun of owning a classic car is showing it yeah uh, i mean say so that really is it it's pride of ownership people want to come out they want to show their vehicles that they, they like to impress each other as well but for sure they they simply want to let people see what they own. It's pride of ownership. And there's an awful lot of uh, chat goes on between them on the, the different marks and everything, and it's, it's a social event. Well, having spoken to these enthusiasts today, I really think that classical vintage car ownership transcends practicality. It's almost like the long-standing marriage. You might get tempted by faster, racier models from time to time, and you know they'll always be a goer. But for just how long will they keep your interest? And as for my Beetle, 
I'm starting to wish that I never sold it after all.